new tonight. The president of the Isle of Wight branch of the NAACP says they are launching their own investigation into a traffic stop that is now the center of a federal lawsuit. It happened last December in the town of Windsor. A U.S. Army officer says his Fourth Amendment rights were violated when two town police officers illegally detained him, then pepper sprayed him, and threatened to destroy his military career. We want to warn you, some of the video may be hard to watch. And standing your side's Brett Hall shows us it was all caught on the police body camera. Open the door! Get out the car! The body camera video is telling. Two Windsor police officers get out to conduct a traffic stop last December with guns drawn. Keep your hands outside the window. The man they pulled over? I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're going to treat me? U.S. Army 2nd Lieutenant Karin Nazaria. Whoa, hold on. What's going on? Ultimately pepper sprayed. Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. All for what his attorney says was the officer's suspicion that Nazaria was driving without a license plate. This has got to stop. Jonathan Arthur says his client is a victim of police brutality. In this case, at the hands of officers Joe Gutierrez and Daniel Crocker. Arthur says his client had temporary tags that were displayed in the rear window of the SUV the entire time. In a federal lawsuit, he argues Nazaro's Fourth Amendment rights were violated when he was illegally pulled over, detained, and searched by officers. They knew they were in the wrong, and then they threatened to destroy a man's career if he called him out on it. After the encounter calms down, in body camera video, you can hear one of the officers appearing to explain how he's willing to not charge Nazario for obstruction of justice because the Army would find out if they do. But the officers also maintain they originally became aggressive when Nazario didn't immediately pull over or get out of the car when they requested. Arthur says his client just wanted to make sure he pulled over in a well-lit area while the lawsuit asks for over a million dollars in damages. Arthur says the police department needs to learn this is not okay. After seeing what I've seen on, uh, on the body cam footage, it's kind of hard to justify having them serving and protecting anything. And we've reached out to both the town of Windsor and the police chief for comment. As of right now, we have not heard back. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.